hi guys and welcome back to my channel yes welcome back thank you for clicking this video i'm sure you saw this cute face and just thinking hmm I'm intrigued. But yes, thank you for clicking this video. Thank you for taking time out to watch me do what I do. Uh, today, as you can tell from the title of this video, we're going to be using some high-end luxury products. What I consider is luxury. Yes, please stay tuned to see the products that I use to create this fabulous face. I think it's fabulous, but if you guys don't think so, mention in the comments below okay if you do like what you see please like this video thumbs up subscribers welcome back new subbies welcome to the family because i know you're gonna subscribe i just know don't worry you're gonna watch the rest of the video and then i'm going to get you to subscribe <laughs> i don't know what that was i feel like i was having like a jim maria cry moment <laughs> so yes today i decided to go a bit bougie Bougie than my normal stuff that I use. I mean, I use a bit of high-end stuff, but this time I kind of went a bit luxury. Most expensive foundation I've ever bought in my life. I'm about to use today on this video. It may not be new to you guys, but it's new to me, okay? Because <laughs> I've never been that type of person to spend over £40 on a foundation, but I went there this time. So, um, and yes, this hair, please do not change your channel. Do not stop this video, this hair. Has decided to do what it wanted to do today i tried to tame it but it didn't quite listen to what mama wanted to say but we, we, we we're gonna work we're gonna we're, we're gonna work let's get into it the foundation that i'm going to use is tom ford so i'm using the traceless soft matte foundation in the shade walnuts so that's 12.5 i have to say this foundation It may look different on camera, but when I swatched it, when I got it, I was like, online shopping's a bitch. I also ordered the um, concealer, which is the Emotion Proof Concealer, and I got this in the shade Dusk, which is 11.0. Word Dusk should have given me an idea of how bright this <laughs> concealer is. But this is it right here. So luckily, I also have the Pat McGrath concealers. These are the shades that I ordered. I don't know why I went this dark. Again, online shopping is a patch. So this is D31 and this is D33. They're not bad, but I know I'm going to use that to counteract the brightness of the Tom Ford concealer. Today, I'm just using an oldie but goodie. I'm going to use the Jacket Aina and Anastasia palette um i've had this for quite some time and when i did get it i really wasn't into this eyeshadow based game situation but now that your girl's getting more what's that word au fait <laughs> with what i need to do to make it do what it do i'm sure i'll be able to use this palette to its best uh abilities you can see i've actually almost hit well i have it pan on these three shades here which obviously are my favourites. I'm going to do my eye look off camera and I'll get back to you with my eye look. It's going to be very basic, so don't worry, you're not missing much. <laughs> okay. So I am back. I have done a little, oh gosh, I've done a little something, something to my eyes. Nothing really, nothing really special. I also thought it would make sense if I used the eyelashes bad and bougie because that's the that's the end goal today i'm going to now prime my face i'm going to be using the laura mercier pure canvas primer in the blurring version so it's going to plop that there and here i'm going to use the same pure canvas primer with the um the hydrating version okay I know I look a mess right now, but sometimes I like to go into the Fasali Skin to Blur and um, Perfecting Primer Serum, which is this one here. I need to get a new one. How you guys been? How's everything going? I hope that everyone is living their best life to the best of their capacity during this time. In the UK, we're on lockdown and the lockdown was actually extended until March 8th. 
and hence why my nails are quite tacky because they were done just before Christmas and they're still on and haven't been changed. We are going into Tom Ford. So I'm just going to plop some on. To mix it in, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. So let's squirt this one a little bit here. Oh, God, it's going to make it dirty. Oh, gosh, this video is not really going well, is it? It really feels like, feel, like looks like it's dark in person. But you guys let me know what you think. And I want to say this is almost one pump. Let's do the forehead. So this is a close-up of the foundation. I think it has a really nice kind of like finish. I feel like putting on more because I really can't feel it. It's very, it's very deep. Now that I'm looking at it, it's very deep. And I think it has somewhat of a golden yellow undertone, if that makes sense. But the finish, the finish, oh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna go into the Pat McGrath. I think as a set lane, you can see how deep this is. <laughs> We're gonna go into the Pat McGrath uh, concealers. It is uh, so D thirty three. So I'm gonna use this to as my first shade. Okay, this is not too bad. So we're just gonna let this sit for a bit. I'm just gonna start the edges. This concealer, ending it out. Wow. But yeah, that is really nice. I'm happy with that. We're gonna go into the Tom Ford foundation. As I said, I'm using a shade Dusk, which is 11.0. Oh, look at the doe foot. I haven't actually seen it, but it's like a little shoe thing. It looks very watery, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna go in. Ooh, oh, that's light. I don't wanna go too far. <laughs> Let's just put a bit here. Okay, for one dip, as you can see, I haven't gone back in. There's quite a lot that comes out. I'm impressed. For such a little applicator, not bad. So I don't know if I'm supposed to wait for it to sit. I feel like I've allowed it to sit for some time. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's so easy to blend out and there is coverage. Okay, so that's my under eye blended out on this side. As you can see, I haven't blended this one out yet. But as you can see, it has actually highlighted under my eyes. But yes, I'm impressed. Oh, I'm feeling expansive. <laughs> Tom Ford's come through. It's looking real good. Tuning in this high end situation. I could go into my Laura Mercier. I could go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills. But today I'm going Pat McGrath. <laughs> I got the uh, setting powder in medium three. Just from the seal. She's a bit orange. This is the color. Oh, wow. You know, sometimes it's really good to spend money. <laughs> it's that little bit that I had on that brush. And the smoothness. Look at the smoothness on this side compared to the side that hasn't been concealed. Obviously, there's a difference because it's been set. But the smoothness... I'm just going to place a bit just on top of the brows there. I'm absolutely impressed. I'm so impressed I forgot to contour. <laughs> Guys, I'm back. I had a little moment with trying to find my uh, contour, which is the Huda Beauty one. She decided to go for a walk. So what we did, um, well, 
I used uh, Fenty to contour. It's high, it's high end, I would say. I mean, for a matchstick, it's quite a bit of points to get that. And I just used my normal everyday stuff like um, powder contour and, and uh, bronzer to do the rest of my face. So what I want to use now is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetch Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Primer. Primer? Powder. I think it's super cute. It has this like stuff inside it, which doesn't really do anything for, for me, but it's it's cute, it's cute. And this is the outer packaging. The color I got was deep. So this is the medium version, which I thought would be a bit darker. Wow. Okay, is there a difference? We need to know if there's a difference. Okay, so it's brightened a bit, which, I like it's the same I don't know if you guys can actually see the difference this is really nice I like it I'm enjoying it let me just quickly put some blush on I don't really have a high-end blush like that and then I'm gonna go into my Huda Beauty uh, 3d highlighter palette back um i have done my highlighter done blush using a different product we don't need to know about that but if you'd like to know about any of the products that i've used that i haven't used on camera you can always ask me in the comment section below so a bit mm, looking kind of weird is because i've lined my lips with again another product that is not really high end and there's no point in me keeping it on camera okay the, um hit a beauty lipstick in the shade staycation this is the new one um this is in the shade board meeting please do mind my nails they're quite old oh it's so nice and fresh i love it when lipstick is this like new and fresh it's like you just don't want to use it <sighs> so smooth um for lip gloss i'm gonna go into my mac primordial lip gloss I'm just going to put on top of this board meeting. And that's it. So I just thought I'd throw some earrings on. Sorry. So um, in the whole theme of using high-end products and luxury products, I decided today that I'm going to use my Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Party all night, stay all day. Charlotte Tilbury. So this is today's look. As I said, do not mind the hair. It decided to do what it wanted to do today. So I couldn't really control her. She just wanted to do her own thing. And I'm not mad at her, but we're gonna have some words after this <laughs> recording because she's really trying to like legit like set me up. But I just wanted to show you um, my version of my high-end and luxury products. And I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it was a bit long-winded. I do apologise. Hope you liked the look. As far as eye looks goes, um, this is quite basic for me. I do like this Tom Ford um, foundation. I think the finish is absolutely stunning. The concealers... The concealers are absolutely sick. They're absolutely sick. I can't believe I have been sleeping on this this whole time. The setting powder, from the loose setting powder to the, the pressed blurring powder, the way it's sitting on my face right now, I feel freaking expensive. Mm. I'm shocked. It's good to spend money, you know? <laughs> it really is. I really do expect it to come out like this. I am more than happy everything just came well together anyway <laughs> yes! thank you for watching thank you for taking the time out to watch me do what i do uh subscribers thank you for coming back new subscribers i am welcome to the family because i know you can subscribe after watching this video the value of this face it requires you to hit the subscribe button and say wow I hope you like this video. Do give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about other products that I haven't actually mentioned on camera, please ask me below and I'll be sure to get back to you. So stay tuned for my other videos. Oh, I have started this um, new series. I thought, what can I do to be a bit different this year? 
not that anyone hasn't done it before but i decided to do full face of using one brand and i'm calling them full face moments so i've done full face moment one i will upload that very soon if not it's been uploaded before this video um be sure to check it and there'll be more full face moments coming up so i'm working on more content to bring to you guys to enjoy me <laughs> toodles shimmy 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 bad and bougie shimmy <laughs> I don't know if I can get any thumbnails from this. I just feel this hair is just really annoying. It's stiff, it's dead. Bye guys.